Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Brookfield Zoo's Bringing the Zoo to You. My name is Jess. I'm an animal care specialist here at Brookfield Zoo, and um, you are joining me today for a very special celebration of one of our awesome animals that live here at Brookfield Zoo. It's our female tiger, Whirl, and she is celebrating her 15th birthday today. So what we're doing is out on our tiger yard, we've placed a frozen treat on a bungee and it has 15 bison ribs frozen into it to celebrate her 15th birthday. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have my coworker release Whirl onto her yard so that you guys can see her enjoy her treat. It's right out this way. <laughs> release the tiger. <laughs> exactly. So she comes from the far end of the exhibit oh, over you. this way and then she hopefully will come over to check out this treat. Bison ribs are one of the big cat's favorites. Anytime we're walking around with a set of bison ribs, they really focus in on it. So hopefully she will enjoy this. This is uh, quite a decent amount of meat for her. So it is a pretty big treat to celebrate a pretty big milestone. Oh, she, there she <laughs> is. I can't wait for one second and she came out. Of course. <laughs> So hanging things off this bungee in her yard is great because um, it gets her to use some of her muscles. It's a good way to her have her kind of problem solve and try to figure things out. Look at just like that. <laughs> <laughs> so great. <laughs> so as we watch her enjoy her ice treat today on her bungee, I thought it would be fun for her 15th birthday to talk to you guys about what makes Whirl kind of a unique animal that we have here at the zoo. Um, we have quite a few big cats at Brookfield Zoo and all of them are, you know, they have cat-like behaviors, but each individual has its own kind of personality quirks and behaviors that they display that kind of makes them unique. So I thought it would be fun to talk to you guys about Whirl and kind of what makes her have the personality that she does and why she's the tiger she is today. Um, so I thought I'd share that with you because what a better way to celebrate her birthday than talk about how unique she is. She's amazing. I love her. <laughs> she is. So here we go. 15 things about Whirl that you might not know. Uh, number one, she has expensive taste. So, <laughs> so we all. <laughs> yeah, right? Exactly. She likes nice things, especially when it comes to perfumes. So we use all sorts of spices and perfumes and even fresh herbs to give her something to smell and rub on and scratch on. She might even roll on it or even pee on it. Um, and we find that if we use a more expensive perfume, uh, she is just a little bit more engaged with it. Wow. Um, we think it probably has to do with the fact that uh, the more expensive perfumes probably use a little bit better oils and ingredients that uh, kind of keep her engaged longer. So that's a fun fact about Whirl. Number two is that she's a very talkative tiger. <laughs> um, not all tigers are very talkative, but she um, has always been talkative. So you might see her walking around her exhibit when you visit and she just kind of roams her yard and will let out roars kind of routinely. Uh, when we're in the behind the scenes area, she likes to greet keepers and other tigers with um, a friendly sound that's called a chuff or even just some short little vocalizations, like as if she's trying to tell you something. Um, so that's pretty cool about her. One of my favorite things about Whirl is number three, she's young at heart. <laughs> so she's celebrating her 15th birthday uh, this year, which in their native habitat, tigers live about 10 to 15 years. So you could say that Whirl is in kind of her golden years right now. Um, but she looks so young, she acts so young, uh, she's really engaged with toys and playing and um, so we love that she, despite her older age, is still really, really playful. She just doesn't run as fast anymore. I think. Yes, yes, that might be true. <laughs> she used to come tearing out to get she that. Did, she did, she did. And now she's like... She's a little more casual. Yeah, look, I'm too cool. I'm too cool for this. Right? <laughs> Now this ice treat here is going to take probably a full 24 hours to like fully melt. Uh, so this will be a gift that keeps on giving all day long. <laughs> <laughs> and she can work at it all day. This is great to see her up and, and playing. Okay, number four about Whirl is that she is a great student. So when it comes to training with her trainers, um, 
she really shows up. Uh, like I said, big cats have a lot of behaviors that are somewhat similar to a house cat, except on a much bigger level. Um, when it comes to training, some days big cats will decide to take a nap <laughs> instead, or they'll ignore you and pretend like you're not there. And that's okay because we just try again later, no big deal. But um, our cat Whirl here is amazing. She almost every single day is willing to come right up and interact and learn something new with her trainers. Really reliable. So she's an awesome student. Oh, hang on one second. I just want to clarify something. Someone commented, does she wear perfume? Aha, uh -huh. she does not wear perfume. She smells perfume. So we will actually spray it on, like you see there's a log at the front of this exhibit or, or throughout the exhibit, we'll mm -hmm. spray it on the logs. She's kind of making a face right now. I don't know if you can no, see I can't. her. She's behind Bummer. like the one leaf. Uh, on yeah. <laughs> um, when she smells something different, she makes a, a certain face so that the smell can go past her uh, a little bit better. Um, but yeah, so we spray it around her, either her yard or the behind the scenes areas for her to kind of smell and rub on and stuff. So she doesn't wear it on her body, just mm -hmm. goes on her spaces for her okay. to investigate. Cool, thank you. Any other questions yet? No, well, sort of, we'll get to them later. Okay. I just wanna clarify that one right away. Sure, sure. Okay, so number five was that you have to earn her trust. So I talked about how what a good student world is when it comes to training with her trainers, but she would, not be likely to do that with a str with a stranger. She has to mm -hmm. kind of get to know somebody and um, have a bunch of good experiences with them before she fully like trusts you and is able to participate um, in the same way. So we kind of think that's cool about her that she has to, you have to work for it with her to get her trust. And once you have it, it's awesome. She's really, really uh, interactive and giving us those chuffs and, and talking with us, giving us some of her little vocalizations that are friendly. It's pretty awesome. Cool. Number six, she's a curious cat. So this is especially in regards to what other animals are doing or other tigers. We have another tiger behind the scenes. And um, if World can see what that tiger's up to, uh, she's pretty hard to break from watching the other tiger. She is just very interested to see what that animal's doing. Um, so she'll kind of stay glued to the door and watch her Aww. and <laughs> see what she's up to. So that's pretty cool. Number seven, she's got an open mind when it comes to enrichment. Uh, some big cats, you really have to kind of try lots of different things to see what it is that they're going to interact with and use as toys. But Whirl likes to play with almost anything that we offer to her. She'll throw balls in her pool. She'll jump at things on the bungee. Um, she is really open-minded. So it's cool because we can get her to exhibit all sorts of natural behaviors by giving her such a variety of things to play with. All right. Number eight is that she's super smart and she takes initiative to find the best comfy spots in her yard, Ooh. no matter what season it is. So it looks like she found <laughs> one right there <laughs> so she can watch her toy melt. <laughs> she's got to know when those bones are available for her to jump up and grab. Exactly, exactly. And she's smart. She knows that if she waits there um, over time, they'll, they'll thaw and come down. Um, but we'll see her, you know, if she wants the sun, she'll follow the sun throughout the day and find the best sunny spots and move with the sun. Or um, we have a heated rock on our habitat that she uses in the winter time with a bunch of bedding to stay nice and comfy warm in the winter. So we love that she's so smart and able to do that. Number nine, she likes to um, practice her predatory instincts Ooh. on some of the birds that fly near oh. her enclosure. Well, that's not cool for the right. birds. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't typically catch them, but she likes to practice. Um, okay. Because they're flighted, they usually get away, um, but she does like to practice, oh. which is interesting. You want to move, move a little? Yeah, oh. absolutely. Sorry, that was my umbrella. Don't trip. No worries. There she is. So sometimes the guests can see her um, stalking the birds, crouching down. Uh, so that's pretty cool to see her do that. Let's see, number 10, she's an active participant in her own medical care. So when we talked about how she does training, some of the training that she does actually helps us care for her better. So she can do things like come up to the front of her enclosure and present her hip, and we Ooh. can actually give her a shot. And then she gets her favorite treat afterwards, and she's willing to do that. Um, time and time again, whenever she needs shots, it's not very often, uh, but she's willing to do that, uh, which is really cool. Um, she also does things like opens her mouth, so the vets or us can look in and take a look at her you know, tongue, her gums, her teeth, make sure everything's mm -hmm. looking okay. 
even in the winter time, if her paw pads get a little dry, just like our hands get dry in the winter, she allows us to put ointment on the paw pads oh, with wow. like a paintbrush through the enclosure cage front. Um, so it's, it's pretty cool that she's so willing to kind of be a part of that. Number 11 is that she has keen observation skills. So we always joke that we're all knows when there's a new person in our behind the scenes area. <laughs> she doesn't even have to see the person. She can smell them and identify that they're, that they're somebody new. Um, or even if we're out on our public walkways and one of her trainers walks through a big crowd, she mm. can pick us out in the crowd and she can track us through the crowd. Um, so she really uses all of her senses to really have some good observation skills. Number 12 is that she loves a challenge and she loves to win. So um, <laughs> <Me too. laughs> we find that if like, let's say you gave her a cardboard box to play with on the floor, she might pee on it and tear it up. But if she had to rip it down from a bungee or something, um, a lot of times it's even more shredded and mm. even more destroyed. Like she okay. loved that challenge of trying to take it down. Let's see, 13, she loves to play in her water. This pool over here, she'll drag toys into the water, which is really fun. Yeah, it's a little cool today. It is a little cool gets, for the water play today. When it gets today. warmer, though, she's in there quite a bit. Yes, yes. She really takes advantage of it. Uh, we said that number 14 is that she wears her heart on her sleeve. So we always know how Whirl is feeling. She's, she's, <laughs> she lets us know. So she's not shy about it. She's not. She's not. So 99% of the time, she looks, she looks like this. She's calm, relaxed, playing with stuff, hanging out. Um, but if she smells something that seems weird to her or sees something that maybe she's not sure about, she's not afraid to give us a pretty solid roar <laughs> and a pretty nasty look to let us know that she doesn't like it. And then what's cool about that is we can respond right away. But all right, everybody, we're going to wrap up today. I hope you guys um, enjoyed celebrating our female Amr Tiger World with us today for her 15th birthday. I hope you learned something new about her and got an appreciation for her the same way that all of us here at Brookfield Zoo have for her. I uh, hope you guys have an awesome day. And next time you come to Brookfield Zoo, make sure to walk by and wish Miss Whirl a happy 15th birthday.